A fire, a tornado, or something else, a disaster is certainly never ideal. And if we could pick the time one strikes, they'd never happen. But you can pick the time you prepare for a disaster right away. The thing with preparedness is to just assume that the, the worst could happen, um, to make sure that you are prepared for no matter what might happen. That means you should have food and water, flashlights and batteries, but there are some things you may not immediately think of. Um, if you have children, uh, you want to make sure that you have stuff down there to keep them occupied, uh, keep them safe, you know, coloring books, things like that. Um, I have a three-year-old daughter, so that's certainly something I would include. Don't forget about your resources available to you. The American Red Cross is one. They can help during a disaster with their free apps to give you disaster info and after when they're on scene to help out. We are often the first on the scene to just talk to you and find out what happened, find out what your needs are, um, and make sure that you have a place to stay and make sure that you have food. Those are kind of the two most important things right when that happens. That's almost all volunteer driven as well. So as one final point, your preparation could include becoming a Red Cross volunteer to help other people in their time of need. For Nebraska's Trusted News Source, I'm Nathan Grieve.